Loogies and geriatrics. I, I mean, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching Heavy Metal ATC, and I am Clementine, and as always, I am Super Saiyan. But never mind all that. This is a 1967 General Electric Portify Hi-Fi Stereo Speaker System, and it's wireless, and we're turning it into a guitar amplifier. In this video series, we've added an input, designed and built a tone stack. We also designed and built low and high gain pre-amplifiers, and we built those on a DIY circuit board made out of a composite wood material known as Masonite. In the very last video, I fully assembled this amplifier, but in this video, we're going to take this amp and figure out why the hell it caught on fire. Then I'm going to crack it open and attempt to repair the damn thing. After that, I'm going to do a sound demo in the studio with proper microphone and audio interface. I'll use multiple guitars without reverb and with reverb. Then I'll see how it sounds with bass guitar. After that, I'm going to create a short little song, one track at a time, on the spot. Show you what it sounds like in an actual audio setting. Let's get this bird turning. And roll that beautiful bean footage. Okay, family, this is where we was at the end of the last video. I had assembled the amplifier, but before we continue, let me tell you about my friend here. If you like my videos, you need to check this guy out. His name's Petey Two Finger. Yeah, I know, I made fun of you there, Petey. Uh, and you're from Illinois, and I understand I talk like Goober from uh, Andy Griffith's show, and I leave a lot of room to be made fun of, but guys, this dude makes awesome content. He uh, does it very similar to what I do, this no money, electronical music build thing and he makes music he's got free albums online but he also does a lot of like artistic video type things that i couldn't even start to, to figure out how he does it but uh you really need to check that out i'm gonna link that in the description so the first thing to do is to rip this damn thing apart and figure out what caught on fire inside of it and made all that smoke and sparks and stuff that scared the hell out of me i opened her up and i found it out it was this here uh ground wire to the tremolo circuit got burnt so i just clipped that in half and then it worked so i tried to repair this sap sucking mother father but it didn't have the parts on hand to do it. I tried to use what I had. It didn't work. I think I'm going to go with a 555 timer anyway. But just to let you know how the tremolo sounds and show you that circuit still works. I stuck a blinking uh, battery charger with a light on it uh, in there to actuate the circuit and show you what that would sound like if it was working. So then, slightly defeated but super stoked that things weren't on fire, I went to the studio and hooked up a VM800 microphone into a Behringer audio interface and recorded this sound demo. We're going to do a sound demo. Let me go to turn it on here. There we go. It's going to take a minute for it to warm up because it's too, but I can turn it down right here and show you. No effects. See, just a guitar. Okay, now let's just start to turn it up. Now it's going to sound a little dirty because I'm not running through the reverb over here. And it's going to be real clean because I'm not running through the reverb, but let's see here. That should be a, that should be a pretty familiar sound for everybody. 
Okay. Now, let's engage the tone stack really heavy. Unless it gives it more of a fender sound and less of a dumbbell sound. I use a dumbbell overdrive special amplifier. It's a custom built tube amplifier that's best sounding amplifier I've ever heard, really. Now check this out. These are cut knobs. We can cut everything all the way back and kill it to dead silent. I could only add a highs. Or I can cut those back and add only mids. Okay. Same with bass. We can do bass and mids. Which I kind of like. Add a little highs there. But if you want to get that mean old dumbbell sound. Bring that up there. And this right here is like fender up top and box down at the bottom. This is actually a, a feedback. This is a, a feedback. You say that's, that's uh, zero negative feedback. And here's negative feedback. Uh, it might be subtle to you, but this is more like a fender, like and this is more like a box. It's much different to your hands when you're playing. You can feel the the difference of uh, you could okay put it up to the negative feedback. You can be real easy with it. Okay, or you can be hard with it. But if you do it like this, you get that more of a queen thing. It's even when you're real easy, it still broke up. channels running at the same time you can snap one of them on snap one of them off there's that real dumbbell sound see you're gonna get uh, that Steve Ray Vaughan that Okay, now here, we're going to run just straight distortion channel. Well, that's not, th that, there we go. Okay, now we're going to plug into the low side. Let's see, I think it's like that. That's for the... Is that like Nashville? Alfonso Salini, a famous Italian designer. Oh shit! Hey Al, how's your hammer hanging, boy? Nashville top. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
switch these with a real mellow but you can still hook them together this way it's just a little bit more easy going you can still turn it up and get that kind of a dumble thing alexander dumble who built this amplifier dr d could you explain to me just why do tubes sound different than transistors what's the difference well, the difference comes down to this. Um, the more fragile harmonics can survive in a vacuum tube where they seem to be uh, eliminated or squashed in a solid state crystal lattice. But as you see, it's not the same sound you'll get when you're in the high. Ooh, yeah, we're working that amp now. I can smell them tubes. Okay, now here I have bias control. Let's unbias this and we'll get a fuzz. Turn it down there. Put this one down. Let's up this down. See, I can't really be easy with it now. It cuts out. Okay, same thing with the clean circuit. We'll go down here, go into the clean circuit. Let's unbias that clean circuit. can't tell with this easy going guitar because it has like a Texas special type pickup but I'm gonna go get my other strap real quick that's uh is uh wired in a way that it works like humbuckers This baby's probably not in tune, but this is one hot ass guitar. It has pickups in it from a Gibson Voyager. the clean channel but I'm hitting it hard and I have it unbiased so I can do like the uh... <laughs> But now, now if I take this hot ass guitar and do some high gain stuff with it, you'll see I can make this baby scream. Let's go up in that dumble position. Beautiful sound. Get a very wide variety of sounds. Give it all that right there. One, one, hook that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, but then 
let's check this out i'll drop it down to like the bridge pickup alone and then you'll see that it's like <laughs> We still have it unbiased. Let's rebias this. Rebias this. Get it real good and clean. Make sure that's up and that's up. Okay. Let's check it out. Check this out, guys. Look how rusty these strings are. See, that's the reason I should probably start me a Patreon. This one ain't got but five strings on it. I work with some janky shit. But I make it work. <laughs> of it electrons can survive in a, a free space vacuum where they have trouble in a crystal lattice uh, I think that's the best and simplest I can put it huh. yep okay now if we put this one down here on the clean channel Super dead strings. Okay, well, I'm about to hook up the reverb, and then we'll give you a demonstration of that. <laughs> that was way loud. All right, now, finger clap, mofos and mofets. Now, Okay, we're still dry. Now let's add some reverb. A little bit more. Make it dirty. considered one of the best guitar players in the world. Um, <laughs> How about some of the best sitting in this chair? How about Surf sound like ding 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 ding. Now watch this. Reverb out the yin yang. Here 
come pretty much need to switch guitars for that. This will probably be all cut up. We got dogs barking and shit. That will go back to this other big old heavy. Just basically like full reverb. back right now let's turn it back a little bit about it for that uh so what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to use all this stuff wait 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 okay i'm going to show something real quick we need to unplug from the reverb here go get my bass i'm going to show you this this thing makes a rocking bass amp I'm gonna grab this which totally bypasses totally bypasses the <laughs> it totally bypasses the um the head unit so this doesn't matter now you can have it on or have it off let me put my headphone thing back here then I can play bass
the phase here, so we're going to... Okay, well, now I'm about to probably leave this bass hooked up and I'm gonna do a little drums on here. There's a boom, 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 and then we're gonna, uh, um, actually, like a little song. Here we go. Let's choose these drums that I have. Okay. Okay. Little song coming up. I'm gonna have like the whole thing where you look like you're on a Brady Bunch, bunch of little squares. You'll see me doing every track. All right. Here we go. Well guys, that does it for this amp series until I get that tremolo fixed. If you like this sort of thing, you should subscribe because in the next year I'm ramping this YouTube thing wide open. The next series is going to be how to turn a cheap DIY guitar kit from eBay into a custom Fender Telecaster with a burl top and gold hardware. I'm also going to start attempting some no money repairs. Like taking two busted speakers and turning them into one good one with a DIY at home reconing job to restore these RCA cabinets. I'm also going to attempt to fix this battery charger. And that segues into things like engine builds and V8 Toyotas. My wife and I are also going to start doing some retro gaming. Oh dear. <laughs> as well as modern gaming. I'm also going to be in the studio making new Clementine music. Also, don't forget to check out my friend Petey Two Finger. Until next time, this is Clementine and you're watching Heavy Metal ATC.